Welcome back to another video, you guys. First of all, I wanted to thank you all that reached out to me concerned about my knee surgery. I am eight days post-surgery and today was my follow-up. Everything went well, I'm actually walking and um, no complications. It was not easy, very painful, lots of swelling, but every day I'm getting better and better. So thank you so much, I appreciate your messages. And the good thing about it is that the recovery is going to be fast. The doctor said probably in about two more weeks I can start exercising uh, my legs, my lower body. I can start rehabbing with some exercise and some movement. So I'm looking forward to that and we're not going to be stuck here as long as what we initially thought. So we are looking to get out of here probably like the first week of October. So anyway, today I'm going to show you guys just a few animals that came in the Indonesia shipment. They are looking amazing. They were doing great and just some animals that I thought you would appreciate seeing them fresh shed or whatever. And so yeah, that's about it. Let's go take a look. So you guys, I got a really, really huge reaction on the leucistic Boiga Synodon for good reason, of course. This is the female, the bigger of the two that has shed and she looks amazing. She's feeding, she's been treated for internal parasites, external of course as well and she's looking fantastic. She shed about two days ago, and now she's like kind of all cleaned up and, and just looking really, really sharp. I am going to switch places with Apple. I fed her a couple days ago, and I really honestly don't know if you can see the food in her stomach or not. I have no idea. So obviously, Transparent is there. And I think the food has actually already been processed and moved down. So I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say that the food is probably here. So it is gonna be a lot of fun, you guys, to show you this animal kind of over time to see what we can see and what we can't see. If she breeds for us, follicle development, egg, egg development, all that kind of stuff, it's going to be really interesting to see if we can make those observations through the transparency of her body. So, super, super nice. Which places with you. So she gets easily fired up. You can see her eyes. So still super stoked <laughs> on her. And the other one hasn't shed yet, but the other one is feeding as well and also has been treated. So these animals are off to a really good start. They were already long-term over there. So it wasn't, uh, wasn't a big surprise that they fed, but of course you always want your animals to eat. Okay, moving on. So here is one of the southern white lips, the black white lips that came in the shipment. This male has shed and is amazing looking. Already fed a couple of times, already been treated with meds. And I will be going down that waiting list here really, really soon because this animal is not missing a beat. So this is like a sub-adult or small adult. Still has a lot of growing to do, but very, very amazing animal. Every time I see these, I'm kind of blown away. Sometimes my angle towards the sun and the angle of the camera towards the sun are different, but the iridescence is intense from where I'm standing. I don't know if you guys can see it in the, in the camera view or not. 
but good stuff. And this is one of my absolute favorites from that shipment, Baby Patias carinata. And this animal has been doing amazing. I started out offering it a chunk of frozen thawed frog meat, which it ate no problem. And then the next meal I tried a pinky scented with frog, also took no issue whatsoever. And the very most recent meal was a day old quail. And he or she took it as well. So I have very, very high hopes for this animal to be established and that I'll be able to see it grow up into an adult. Just super stoked. I don't know what it is about these guys. I think it's probably the big eyes or just the fact that I'm like the, uh, the godfather almost of this species. I, the original person to bring these into the hobby and, and getting it done with these guys and just super stoked on them. I just really, really like them. So we're just going to continue doing our thing, keep offering food, varied diet. Seems like this animal will take everything that I offer, which is fantastic. And I always kind of like to alternate those meals, go from like frog to bird to rodent and just keep mixing it all up like that. And so far, this snake has not refused any of it, which is a fantastic sign. So I don't really have any, any doubts on this one. So it will be super cool to see it grow. Right? Right. So awesome. Camera shy. <laughs> so what did you think about those animals? I'm really impressed. They're looking great. I'm waiting for even more things to shed animals that are feeding and doing amazing. So I will be getting to the waiting list people here pretty soon and uh, we'll be kind of back in action with shipping again next week. So thank you again to my Patreon supporters. We did a Zoom two weekends ago and, um, and it was cool, you know, I love sitting down and talking to you guys. It, it, it goes for a while. We had a lot of people join in and more Patreon people are joining and it's just really made this whole video thing, YouTube and everything else, it's really helped it along. So thank you so much to you guys. And we are going to plan to do a full length documentary. We are going back to Maluku. We're going to do a scrub python project, but rather than break it up into all these short little videos, we're going to turn it into like a full length documentary style. Realize that I'm not here to get bit by cobras. I'm not here to be a jackass. This platform doesn't work well for me, but because we try to provide you some sort of education and something of value, I think the documentary style actually is really good for us. So my ideas at this point are to release a full length documentary on Vimeo on demand, and it's going to be free for Patreon supporters and for those that don't wish to join Patreon, you can still watch the video, but it's we're not gonna do it for free. Those trips are very expensive. I have to bring a team with, my, with us, translator, local guides, um, lots of stuff. It takes a lot, of, a lot of work and a lot of money to pull that off. And I just think that breaking those videos into small eight minute shots or whatever on YouTube and me earning like $8 per video, it just doesn't work. And I think most of you guys probably aren't really even interested in watching that stuff anyway. The mainstream viewers on YouTube want to see a totally different type of content. So I have nothing to lose. So for those of you that are interested in watching like a really good full length, tons of education, habitat, all sorts of stuff, we're going to do our best to bring that to you guys. So I'm really excited about it. I'm getting more ideas as we go. Um, and for Patreon supporters as well, we are going to do different things and it's, it's going to be my way of like giving you guys access to a lot of this incredible stuff. For example, I will at some point be asking all of you guys on Patreon for questions. Ask a local trapper. So it's going to give you guys access to a local trapper. You guys can send me questions and I will do an exclusive video only for patrons 
to where I am going to ask the local trapper your questions and it's going to be translated and then translated back in English and I'm going to give you guys the, the answers to your questions. So even just that one idea, it gives you guys really exclusive access to somebody that you would never cross paths with in your normal daily lives. So it's going to be really interesting. I have a ton of ideas. They're all coming to me. The more I sit down, it just goes and goes and goes. So we're really excited. So probably uh, towards the beginning of the year, uh, you guys are going to be getting something really special from us. And I think it's basically, it's our thing. That's what we do. So anyway, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for listening to me ramble on and we will see you in the next one. Take care.